All right, today I'm going to make some pancit, at least my version of it, anyway. And so I've prepared everything already because chopping this stuff took a very long time. So I have some onions, carrots, cabbage, some green onion. Um, this is chopped up garlic and ginger. Uh, a whole bunch of chopped up green beans. Uh, we'll use the limes later. And I have some decapitated and deveined shrimp. And then for um, the noodles, which are here, the excellent brand noodles, uh, I'm going to make a st um, stock with chicken stock, uh, some soy sauce, and I'm going to put some uh, chili sauce in it as well. It's not traditional, but I like spicy. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the stove to high and let this heat up for a couple of seconds, uh, and then I'm going to saute the vegetables. All right, so I think the pan is really nice and hot. So what I'm going to do now is add just a little bit of canola oil. OK, so maybe a lot of canola oil. Um, stir that around. Um, the, first one I'm, the first vegetable I'm going to add are the green beans, because they're sort of the hardest. I'm going to let that go for a minute or so. Mm. Okay, so I think this has been going for about two minutes. And the next thing I'm going to add are the onions and carrots. I'm going to add these at the same time. Alright, I'm going to let that go for a little bit. Alright, so the vegetables have started to develop a nice little color on them, so now I'm going to add the um, garlic and the ginger as best as I can. We'll let that cook a little bit. Alright, so I don't want the garlic to burn, so at this point I'm just going to go ahead and add the um, cabbage. And this doesn't need to cook for that long. And by the way, this smells so good right now. Uh, I think I could just eat this on its own. Um, Alright, so I'm going to cook this down for probably about a minute or let's say two minutes. Okay, so this has been cooking for about two minutes, and the cabbage is actually starting to get a little bit of the color. Um, but for me, these vegetables are done. I still want them to be 
um, you know, a little bit crispy. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to transfer this to a bowl and next is to cook it up the shrimp. Okay, so I transferred the vegetables. I'm going to turn back on the heat. I added a little bit more oil for the shrimp. I'm going to let that heat up for just a moment. So here are the vegetables. Um, so we'll just let them sit aside. And all I'm going to do is uh, really just flash fry these shrimp. Um, I'm going to take off as much of this water because I don't want it to splatter. Um, so we want to cook these fast and rapid. Because in my opinion, one of the worst things you can have is overcooked shrimp. So we'll just cook these up until they're just a little bit pink. Um, because they're going to keep cooking even after they're removed from the heat. So I think I'm going to let these cook for, I don't know, about a minute or so. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm even going to put the lid on uh, and check on these in about uh, 30 seconds or so. Still waiting. Uh, let's see what these look like. definitely smell good. So, okay, this is good. I'm going to transfer this into the same container where the vegetables are, um, and then we can work on the sauce, um, which we're going to add right in here. So, um, so I'm going to shake up the container of chicken stock. Um, I don't normally cook with chicken stock. Um, but today is a special day. Uh, let's see here, I think I'm gonna add... I don't have enough liquid for the noodles. All right, I'm gonna turn this back on high. So, um, so I have a little bit of soy sauce left, and so if we need to open more, we can do that. Um, that was probably about a quarter of a cup or so. Um, there's the other soy sauce. So actually, this is tamari, but close enough. I'm going to add a little bit of this chili sauce just because I like spicy. Um, and then, of course, I forgot to mention this earlier, the fish sauce, the patisse. This is the secret ingredient. Um, but I, I don't like a ton of patisse, so maybe like uh, tablespoon and a half. Right, so we just want to bring that to a bit of a boil. All right. So once this gets boiling, I'm going to add the excellent rice stick Bihon noodles. 
So, um, seems like it'll, it's about ready to boil here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just add this. And hopefully this is enough liquid for the noodles. And if it's too much, then we can just pour it off, but... Um, Alright, so I'm going to let this come to a boil, let the noodles absorb and soften up, and then just mix everything together. Okay, so the noodles have been cooking for um, maybe three or four minutes, and I think they're done. So I'm going to turn off the heat, and now we just have to add these to the, the vegetables from earlier, and the shrimp. This smells really good. Um, I'll just give this a toss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lime, cut it in half, and just add fresh lime juice right on top. I guess normally the Filipinos would use calamansi, but I don't have that because I don't live in the Philippines. But this is supposed to be pretty good. I'm going to add the juice of one more lime. Okay, and then a whole bunch of it and serve it up <laughs> in a very, very graceful way. And that <laughs> is pancit.